I'm a 27-year-old construction worker with a problem. I've had a string of bad business ideas that never seem to work out. I'm desperate to strike it big and make something of myself, but nothing seems to be going my way. That's when my friend made a joke that I should make a deal with the devil. At first I laughed it off, but the more I thought about it, the more the idea started to appeal to me. If the devil could grant me success, then why not make a deal? I know it's a risky move, but I'm willing to take the chance. So, I decided to take matters into my own hands and went to a mysterious voodoo shop that I had heard of. The shop was located in a dark alleyway and it was hard to find, but I finally found it and I went inside. The shop was dimly lit and the air was thick with a pungent smell of incense. The walls were lined with strange voodoo items, from potions and talismans to dolls and candles. I felt a chill run down my spine as I walked deeper into the shop. I approached the counter and an old woman with a wrinkled face appeared from behind a curtain. She looked at me with her piercing eyes and asked me what I wanted. I told her I was looking for a sleep potion that would allow me to enter my dreams. She smiled and told me that she had just the thing. She handed me a small bottle filled with a dark liquid and told me to drink it before I went to bed. She warned me that once I drank it, I would be transported into a dream world and anything could happen. I eagerly paid the woman and left the shop with the bottle clutched in my hand. As I walked home, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and fear. What would happen in my dreams? Would I finally find the success I was looking for? I drank the potion that night before I went to bed, and as I closed my eyes, I felt myself being pulled into a dream world where anything could happen. As I entered my dream world, I found myself riding on a black horse through an old, ancient Native American land. As I rode further into the land, I came across a tent at the top of a hill surrounded by a lake of black water. I felt drawn to it, and I decided to climb the hill and see what was inside. When I entered the tent, I found a woman who seemed to be a goddess of some sort. She was beautiful, with long black hair and an aura of power and mysticism that surrounded her. We talked for a while, and I felt a strange energy coursing through me. As we were about to part ways, she kissed me. Suddenly, everything went dark, and I felt her hands around my throat. She was choking me, and I struggled to break free. But I couldn't move, and I felt myself slipping away. Just as I thought it was the end, I woke up from my dream, gasping for air. I was relieved to find that it was just a dream, but the experience left me shaken. I couldn't shake off the feeling of dread that lingered in my mind. Something about that woman and the lake of black water filled me with a sense of unease. But I couldn't put my finger on what it was. For the rest of the night, I couldn't fall back asleep. I lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, wondering what the dream meant and what the future held. I eventually managed to fall asleep again, and when morning came I found a winning lottery ticket on my bedside table. It was like a dream come true. I had won millions of dollars, and all my financial worries were over. After some time, I decided to use my winnings to buy an old hotel in the middle of nowhere. The place was in a state of disrepair, but I saw potential in it. I spent months renovating the hotel, replacing the old furniture, updating the plumbing and electrical systems, and giving the hotel a modern and luxurious feel. Once the hotel was ready, I moved in myself. The hotel was now a peaceful and beautiful retreat. I was living my dream life and enjoying every moment of it. But then, I remembered the deal I had made with the evil goddess in my dream. I had to bring a soul to her every 564 days. I had no idea how I was going to fulfill this deal. I couldn't bring myself to harm anyone, let alone take a life. I was desperate for a solution, so I decided to revisit the voodoo shop where I had bought the sleep potion that had led me to the dream world. I hoped to find a way to enter the dream world again. 
When I arrived, the old voodoo woman greeted me and listened to my problem. She gave me a new improved sleep potion and warned me about the dangers of dealing with the evil goddess. She told me that if I ever needed help, I could come to her for guidance. I thanked her and left the shop with the sleep potion. I hoped that I could find a solution to my problem in the dream world without having to harm anyone. I drank the potion and fell into a deep sleep, entering the dream world once again. I drank the sleep potion and entered the dream world once again, hoping to find a solution to my problem. But this time, I found myself going back in time, 500 years into the past. Eventually, I found myself on a slave boat with no one on it. It was eerie and haunting. I moved inside the boat's interior and I felt the darkness around me. Suddenly, the goddess appeared out of the shadows. She told me that I was running out of time to start sending her souls. She made an offer that would make things easier for me. All I had to do was to get a guest to stay in my hotel, but book room 56, and she would take care of the rest. Before I could say anything, the boat caught fire. I was terrified, and the goddess disappeared into the flames. I was almost consumed by the fire, but then I woke up from my dream before it could kill me. I was relieved that it was only a dream, but the fear and intensity of the dream stayed with me. I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was in danger. The thought of bringing harm to someone for my own benefit was not something I could do. I decided to seek help from the voodoo woman again. She listened to my story and advised me not to deal with the evil goddess. She warned me that it would only bring me harm in the end. I knew what I had to do. I would not let the evil goddess control my life. I would find another way to fulfill my end of the deal without hurting anyone. I went back to my hotel and immediately changed the room number of room 56 to room 65. It was a small step, but it gave me some peace of mind. I would continue to search for a way to fulfill the deal without causing harm to anyone. On the 564th day I fell asleep, I woke up in a strange world, surrounded by trees and wildlife that I had never seen before. As I walked around, taking in my new surroundings, I suddenly found myself transported back in time to an old Native American land. I was fascinated by the sights and sounds of this unfamiliar place, but my sense of wonder was quickly replaced by fear as I realized that I was being chased by desperate evil lost souls who had made deals with the devil. I ran through the forest as fast as I could, my heart pounding in my chest. I could hear the desperate cries of the lost souls behind me, and I knew that I had to find a way to escape. As I stumbled through the trees, I saw a building in the distance that looked like my hotel back home. With no other options left, I ran towards the building and managed to make it inside just as the lost souls caught up to me. But as soon as I entered the building, the entrance disappeared and I knew that I was trapped there forever. I found myself in an endless hallway with doors leading off to countless hotel rooms. Each room was empty, but I could sense that I was not alone. I could feel the presence of the lost souls all around me and I knew that they would never let me leave. I wandered through the hotel, trying every door I could find, but they all led to the same empty rooms. It seemed like I was trapped in this nightmare forever, with no hope of escape. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, I began to lose hope. I knew that I would never escape this place, that I was doomed to wander the endless hallways of this hotel forever. And so I remain, trapped in this dream world, haunted by the lost souls who made deals with the devil. I can only hope that one day, I will find a way to escape this endless nightmare and return to the world I once knew.